morning, uh, March 2nd, and yes, it's uh, 1045 and we should be in the middle of class right now. Uh, I want to very briefly go over some of the lecture points, some of the tips uh, in terms of organizing yourselves around your teams, uh, uniting with uh, your, your partner organization, and also then to uh, review for a time uh, our needs assessment and problem statement very briefly. Now we'll cover some of this again next week, but I just want to situate uh, you around some of this. Uh, I will be distributing to your box a, a past project uh, proposal that has the first couple elements in it, the background and statement and introductory statement for a project that was uh, lined up with the Alana program and also has its needs assessment uh, in there as well. So that'll, that'll, that may be of help to you this week as you, as you make contact with your partner groups. Please pay attention to the online information. I've sent a couple emails out in, in, in terms of establishing your teams. If there's any problem there whatsoever, just give me a call or email. Uh, but I'm hoping that you can work this out yourselves uh, with your teams and so forth, okay? Um, I had the uh, Westgate Housing Group team come in this morning and we talked a little bit about uh, they're getting ready to meet with their organization. And again, as, as we said in class, what we'll do every class period is have a time to have a dialogue, discussion among the different groups about what they're finding, who they're meeting, what their problems are and so forth, uh, and concerns in terms of developing and uh, in terms of developing their proposal. But anyway, they were uh, trying to situate themselves in terms of meeting, uh, there, there's going to be a board meeting this week, I think, uh, of the Westgate Housing uh, Group Association. And so these are some of the tips that we advise them to follow, and you should as well, is first of all, do all your homework, as much homework as you possibly can, on the organization itself. You'll see this from the Alana documents. Uh, even before you meet the executive director or board, uh, any of the stakeholders and so forth, make sure you're working through that information to get as much information as you can on the front end so that when you meet with uh, these groups, you can be professional and informed and also hold your own uh, in terms of working with these folks and being able to ask the right questions. Uh, as you're meeting with these groups for the first time, introduce yourself. You should be um, put, posture, uh, positioning yourself in such a way where you are offering a bona fide service to the organization uh, as a listener, as someone who is interested in the organization, but also make it clear that you're working through an SIT assignment as a graduate student, uh, so uh, we, you are going to appreciate their cooperation in helping you get this assignment done as well, okay? So a lot of common sense here. Position yourself as a listener, um, keen to understand more about the organization, and then from the, uh, also immediately see you, you've got political, economic, and social factors going into looking at, uh, and understanding uh, an, an organization uh, that you'll be walking into. So watch to see where the political power is, see if the executive director is, is uh, how, what sort of power the executive director is exerting there, and be aware that uh, you're going to have to negotiate uh, with, through, and around power elements in different organizations to get good information, okay? So it's a lot of diplomacy, a lot of listening. It's understanding the context of the organization that you're working in, the situation that they find themselves in, and also doing your good homework around the mission of the organization. So walk in. Uh, in your first meeting with the, the, the board, the stakeholders, and so forth, make sure you dress professionally, you speak clearly, and uh, use a lot of common sense in being a listener uh, as well as someone offering services here, okay? So uh, working together will we'll, we'll, we'll be good there. Okay, uh, moving through this, What I'd like to do is just very briefly go through uh, some of the basic definitions. Uh, I'm taking the hypotenuse and rather the long way around in terms of some of your assignments that you had for this week uh, in connection with needs assessment and problem statements and so forth. Um, 
You'll remember last time we talked about you, you need to be able to understand the mission, the values of the organization you're, you're working with and so forth, and how that organization is organized through its board of trustees or board members that are actually help um, set structure for the organization. You're going to be dealing with administrators from top to bottom, bottom executive directors, right through the support staff of the organization, and all of them along with those that they serve, most important, the stakeholders, the people. Never, the one thing that you can take from this is always keep in mind the, uh, the needs of the people, the people themselves, because you're going to find that the organization wants to get in the way of the people at times. And that's something you must be vigilant to recognize that we're always talking about the people as you're organizing your, uh, your project design. A second point, introductory point, to, to keep in mind also, as we've, we've talked about the four P's here, right, last time. We talked about programming, the programs of the organization, which is the integrated set of activities um, that, that, that actualize the mission of the organization, an integrated set of activities that include projects. The project itself, which is a focus activity, um, that, that is an expression that is based on mission and need and so forth. We talked also last time about the elements of being a, a good planner in terms of designing your program, and I won't review those today, but uh, anyway, keep that in the back of your mind. And then finally, the fourth P is that, okay, we're walking into an organization, Alana, West, uh, Westgate Housing, whatever it may be, uh, we recognize the mission, we recognize their programs, we begin thinking in an iterative manner. My, my cameraman back here knows what iterative means. Yes? <laughs> right. Back and forth, right? You may discover that there are some solutions that you have in your mind about how that pro what possible projects may come of this. But um, you must also recognize that the good planning process will keep you, uh, orderly, your work in an orderly, linear fashion moving from the beginning that allows you to, to, to come back to some uh, um, clear record keeping, clarity, order in your, in your program as well. So in one sense you're going to have one, uh, one kind of thinking going on in your mind that has to do with the design, how to meet the need of the people, right? In terms of the design, moving ahead, step by step. The second piece has to do with the proposal itself, which is the expression of the project design, the expression of the design that's going to be presented to an external party, a funder, a Ben and Jerry's Foundation, whoever it may be, um, uh, your funders, your grants, and so forth. So keeping in mind that intrinsically you're going to have a design process on your hands, on the one hand, at this, simultaneously, you're going to have to keep in mind, okay, how are we going to present this design in an elegant, eloquent, succinct, compelling fashion? Okay, so those are the things we need to look at there.